Hello and welcome to your channel AWS Cloud Bytes. I'm your host Bhavesh Kumar. Today we are going to create a DynamoDB table with CloudFormation. The objectives of this lab are review a CloudFormation template, launch the CloudFormation stack, verify CloudFormation stack resources. It's lab time. Okay, in today's lab, we are going to work on DynamoDB table using CloudFormation templates. I have already logged into AWS console. You can see the console over here. And I want to show you that we have just one stack in this console. And if you look at the DynamoDB, I'll refresh it over here. We don't have any table in DynamoDB. So in order to start, I will show you that we are going to use this sample project that I have, AWS CloudFormation demo. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to share this code. Let me refresh. In my YouTube description, you'll find a link to this particular code. I wanted to show the DynamoDB stack that we are going to build today. This is the DynamoDB template that we are going to run and create a DynamoDB table. The table resource name we have given as product table. This is of type table. The table name will be product and there are definition of attributes under that table. So this one is a reference. Hash key element name is this parameter. The name is product ID and then you have the type which is this one. The type is of a string. What we are saying over here is that the capacity which we are defining with read and write capacity units or RCUs and WCUs. You can have on demand uh, provision capacity uh, but we are going by 5 read and 5 write second and the output of this particular cloud formation template will be the product table which is referring to this resource you can see as a result of deploying this template that we'll have a template creating a DynamoDB table in this particular list so let's begin. I have this template locally. You can download from this particular website. Let me start with the CloudFormation. So I'll go to CloudFormation. I'll say create. And we have a template ready. I will upload a file. You can also give an S3 URL. You can use a sample template. You can use a designer. But when the template is ready, you can just refer to an S3 bucket or you can upload a template file. I am going to click on that and going to upload the same template, YAML template. This can be a JSON template also. We are using YAML. So DynamoDB template, open. You can view in designer. This is just optional wanted to show that what exactly the designer is used for and how does it look like. Let me click on this and you can see that it is showing that we are going to have a product table created based on this template. You can always validate your template by clicking on this checkbox and the template is valid. We can close the designer uh, it removed everything so let me go back and upload the template again I just wanted to show how it looks in designer we don't have to click in designer we can just say next I could have done next from designer also but let's go from here now we can give any stack name that you find applicable for your application so I'm gonna say product database creation the parameter is product ID and it is of type string. Sorry, I need to give dashes. 
let me just say product database. You can add tags. I am not going to add any tag. You can have permissions. This one, I'm not going to add any permission. Roll back all stack resources. When you are having a failure in your CloudFormation stack, if you want to restrict the full rollback, you can select this option, which means if there are multiple resources and one of the resource failed to create, you can always roll back um, fully or you can just allow whatever resources were created and start from the same point which means if the exception happened on creation of fourth resource in the stack, you can still secure the three resources that were already created and fix your template, continue from fourth onwards. I'm just gonna keep it, roll back all stack resources. There are stack policies, notification options, and other things. I'll just say next here. You can see this is a review screen where it is telling this is your template. These are your keys. This is the name of the key and this is the type that you defined. These are your tags, which I haven't defined any, any permission that you want. The whole a full rollback is enabled rather than a partial one. If something is created, don't delete those. I have not selected that option. Looks good to me. I'll just submit it. You can see there is product database, which is the stack name that we gave. We have creation in progress. This will take a couple of minutes. And it was pretty quick. It just took a few seconds rather than minutes. We were just creating one table. So you can see that when the stack initiated, it started uh, creation of this product table. And once this table was created, the whole stack creation was complete. You can look at the resources. You can see that logical name as product table, but then the product is the physical name or physical ID within this Amazon DynamoDB table list. And the type is of DynamoDB table. Status is complete. You can look at the output. You can see inventory is the key and the value is product. Now let's refresh this. You can see that there is a new table. There is a deletion protection which is off. We haven't added any deletion protection to this table. Now the provision capacity that we gave the RCUs, this was five and WCU was five. Total size is zero because we don't have anything in this table. Let me click on this table. You can see that the table is active. Number of items is zero and you won't see any other metric just because there's nothing. And for indexes, we haven't created any indexes. There's no global table declaration. There is no stream. This is a vanilla table. Congratulations. You have completed this lab. This is the end of this episode. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe, and press the notification bell icon for future updates. This is your host, Bhavesh Kumar, signing off. Thank you.